Okay, so yeah, it didn't crash. It just screwed up. But yeah, I hadn't even started recording yet there, and she just turns the corner and starts shooting at me. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab everything. Uh, at least in this room, and then we're gonna drop off all of the clothing in the de in the desk, like, nearby. Uh, and we'll go from there, but yeah. That time we got her with a grenade. I always hate- that's, that's one thing I absolutely hate about this game. That, um... Huh. Guess there's still enemies around here. Uh, enemies can, like, turn a corner. And, uh, well, not even turn a corner. While you're loading in, enemies can act. I feel like everybody should kind of... It'd actually be kind of neat if this game started paused. Like a old-school CRPG kind of thing. That'd actually be, like, a really nice solution to the problem. Because I absolutely hate it when I, like, load in and get killed immediately. Because it's just not fun. Or fair. Okay. I wish, uh, sorting things by weight would actually account for, um... Let's see. Sorting things... Oh, that's dog meat. Okay, sorting things by weight would actually include, like, um... Uh... Like, how heavy the stack is. As opposed to, like, a per size. Okay, say, so out of curiosity, why did I start over? What the fuck? Okay, we need that minigun. Before anybody else decides to show up here. Yeah, I had to start over because uh, several of my mods became totally non-functional. And so instead of... Um, in uh, Sim Settlement specifically necessitated it. I I really wish I had, didn't have to restart the runs uh, when some some mods break. But sometimes... Just no, no chance. It sucks. But yeah, it took her gun. Frustrating. Well, whatever. Okay, it looks like armor is the main thing that's weighing me down here. So what I'm going to do is probably just leave all this stuff in here. To some degree. And come back for it. Okay, well, I can't imagine we have any more enemies sneaking around in here. Not at least that I'm going to run into immediately. Cannot use a bandage in combat. Okay, so there is still somebody around here that's alive. Okay, well, considering I've gotten my butt beat. Seven ways to Tuesday. Let's get uh, the ability to make first aid kits. Ready overburdened. This is usually why I cheat up my uh, my carry capacity. And I don't even know who's left. As long as they don't come shoot me in the butt, we're okay. All right. Um. Guess let's go into inventory for a second. Let's. Let's see. Uh, brain mushroom soup. There we go. At least I'm properly hydrated now. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything useful in there. Let's see, what is this gun? It's a nail gun. It's a modded weapon. It's a little bit overpowered, but considering what I'm up against, I will take what I can get. Um, one of my goals with these challenges is to make it so unbelievably dis uh, like disgustingly... Um, unfair against me that anytime I pick up like a a cheesy powerful item nobody can complain because I mean like if it weren't for these things I'd just be dying over and over and over again at least that's my logic Okay, so let's 
Grab the junk. There's at least a little bit in there. Nothing useful, though. Yeah, so I might be able to make um, a cargo bot uh, delivery system. It's dog meat's inventory full. No, but dog meat's inventory is so minor and small that what I'm going to do is um, I can get a, a cargo bot that will come and collect loot for me. Uh, so I'm just going to I'm just going to go uh, see if I can make one of those with my ill-gotten gains from this area and then come back. Bottle cap. Where is this last person? Guess I should probably prioritize finding and killing them. Nothing. Weird. So I'm not in combat? Dumb game. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So anything useful in here? No. I do not have any lock picks for the lock pick sets for that difficulty. Good to know. Grab all these goodies. Hope you're happy, Wanderbot, because of me, or because of you. You pick up everything. That's that's hilarious. I honestly, I thought the junk was like the stupidest thing ever. What the sh? What is that? That's her face, right? Oh, that's her neck. I'm going to file you under broken model. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, what else we got around here? Army helmet, cigar. A lot of goodies. I might actually have to drop off some guns here. Well, that's fine. Okay, so let's just slowly march our way back. We, I mean, we've pretty much gotten everything that we need out of here. So let's uh, let's drop off what we've picked up. I'm sure I've got some pipe weaponry that I don't need to carry immediately. I, I got some stuff um, that I want to take back, specifically the minigun. Because my settlers with a minigun would be, like, really, really good. Okay, so we, ha we have to have... Yeah, pipe rifle. Three and a half pounds. Uh, let's see. Leather equipment. Don't want to get rid of the, uh, the metal stuff, though. Nah. I like my bowler hat. Okay, lead pipe. Oh, yeah. Totally useless. Anything else here that I can immediately get rid of? I guess the pipe pistols. A pipe bolt-action pistol explosive. Oh, hi. Yes? Okay. Uh, that's probably good. Let's go take care of the, uh, the room with the... Let's go take care of the room with the... The rad roaches in it. Kind of floored that they never made it in here. You'd think you'd just break the door down. If you're allowed to... If you have a minigun. Oh, I don't get experience for that. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. There's not just one rad roach in here. I guess I'll just let dog meat tank them. Well, we get rad roach carapace. Ugh. Ugh. Absolutely dis dislike the, uh, the look of rad roaches. Roaches in general. Most bugs, honestly, bother the shit out of me. They're just... Ugh. Honestly, if you want to make a horror game that actually freaks me out and scares me, bugs. Uh, well, I guess, um, what's the, uh, EDF, Earth Defense Force, that, that's a horror game. 
At least for me. Okay, so now that we got the key, let's go upstairs. Let's grab whatever goodies are in that room. I always forget there's a terminal here. Is there a reason? Oh, satellite dish status offline? Oh, uh, maybe it's because I took this out. But yes, that corpse did just give birth to a rad roach. Disgusting, no? Uh, let's see. Ah! That's what I was hearing. The hell? I don't think I've ever actually seen a rad hornet. Ever. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one of those in Fallout. I don't know how I've ever never seen one of those. But like, legitimately, I don't think I've ever, ever seen one. Anyway, this is part of the reason why we're here. Covert, uh, covert operations. Such a good magazine. Why was there a rad hornet in there? That doesn't make, that doesn't even make any sense. Oh, and we're overburdened again. Probably from like cigar cigarette, cigar, whatever nonsense. Cause that has weight. Cause it's valuable, not junk. Which actually seems totally totally fair. All things considered. Uh let's see. Anything else in here? Yeah, box of cigars, dog meat. Hi dog meat. Okay, now we got it. Anything oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Baseball grenade. Ooh, useful. Yeah, I, I know for a fact that that Rad Hornet is not vanilla. I think it's from War from the Commonwealth or maybe something else. I'm not really sure, actually, where it could have possibly come from. Okay, uh, probably not the railway rifle. Yeah, let's just, let's just throw in one of the... No, we don't want to take all. Let's just throw in one of the shotguns. I'll be back for this in a moment. Let's see. Never got the magazine from Sunshine Tidings. I actually haven't been to Sunshine Tidings yet. Uh, I will probably head over there. Let dog meat carry some of the load. Nah. Um, at this point, I'm just going to take everything that's important and then come back with a cargo bot later. Because there's there's no way I'm going to be able to load that a lot, uh, much of any of that onto dog meat. Not a useful amount anyway. Okay. So we are injured, and we gotta make it back to Sanctuary so we can actually make them happy again. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, well, let's go this way. Every time I see that power armor, it freaks me out. I'm not even gonna go for the rad stags. Like, we're pretty good here. I have a lot of people that are complaining very specifically about how dark it is, but considering how often I'm running around with the flashlight, I think you guys are okay. Yeah, it's it's dark. I'm not going to disagree with that, but it's not impossibly dark. Okay, so we got a stim pack, hot rodder. Uh, hot rodder isn't that useful though. Cannot use this while in cop. What? Oh. Mole rats. Probably mole rats. And yeah, I know there's a fat man right here. Oh, that's the light on my sword. Hmm. Well, okay. See, can I fast travel in Fallout? Not in survival mode. Technically, I can, but 
I only fast travel if I'm really not feeling the walk. Okay. So, am I still in combat? No, I'm not. Good. Okay, so we want to scrap the double barrel shotgun. What else do we got? Fletch it? Flesh it? Pistol? Interesting. I'll hold on to that. Well, I can easy, easily scrap a lot of these things. Uh, hard and compensated tactical pistol. I'm curious about Fletchit, though. Okay. How's my carrying capacity looking? Pretty bad. Uh, do we have some beer? Vodka! Two over. That sucks. Uh, honestly, uh, let's go back to craft. Let's scrap the uh, the pistol. That should be enough. Please tell me that was enough. Yep, we're good. Okay. Uh, I guess the last thing we should do is use the terminal. I'm just gonna eject the tape. I'll take it with me. Yeah, I don't know what the Fletchit pistol does. Uh, it's another one of my mod weapons. Not really sure what, uh, what it could possibly do. Probably something useful. But yeah, we're, we're going home and I'll come back for that armor. Or I won't. I mean, we got such a high, I mean, we get so much, like, leather armor as it stands that, like, even if I never come back for it, I'm not going to feel particularly bad. Uh, because I increased the amount of spawns that this game has. Armor is going to be the one thing that we're never hurting in. That and, like, raw weaponry. Ammo. Ammo should be okay. It's it's healing items. Health-related stuff. Food. That's that's where the worry, worry is. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna head back for sanctuary and drop things off. Feel bad that we've we just always use sanctuary. Well, honestly, what I'm probably gonna do is uh, once it hits the 15 limiter, uh, I'm just going to I'm probably actually just gonna turn off the recruitment beacon and uh, and just let it live. And they go work on uh, Sunshine Tidings. Because that seems like a much more interesting place to work with. It's just this game's hard as shit. And, uh... <laughs> okay. So, Minuteman, Minuteman. Yeah, so apparently... One of these... One of these mods makes it so we have just a ton of Minutemen... Hanging out in Sanctuary. It's so weird. Fletchets are like shiny, uh, tiny bits of metal. Yes. Uh, a fletchet is a, uh, a fletchet, it's just a shard of metal. Um, and so generally, like, needles and, like, you know, the razor blades, I guess, could be, like, a fletchet if you could fire one. Does she still have the exact... Alright, fine. Her stock isn't resetting. Well, one way or another, I'm going to sell the, the Fat Man and the Railway Rifle, because they're both worth a lot. Actually, while we're at it, uh, pack of cigarettes, carton of cigarettes, box of cigars, pre-war money. Well, she's got a ton of money. We might as well just take it. Okay, so let's start storing all the junk. So we want to store the minigun. Uh, store the explosive thing, the most of these. Uh, Cavalier, Mutant Slayer, and like 90% of this stuff. We should come away with uh, enough to make like a decent amount of things. Bunch of adrenaline inje injectors. Stealth boys. I don't really know if I should get rid of them or keep them or what. Well, that'll be something we figure out later. 
A lot of dog meat. Like literal dog meat, not like dog meat, dog meat. Or I guess the dog, dog meat. Ah, eh, words. Okay. Anything else I want to deal with here? Not really. What's so heavy in my inventory? I guess probably the, the weapons and the armor that I've got. Oh, the freaking mini nuke. And the fusion cores. Okay. And then everything else is just food and whatnot. Oh. EM cartridges have weight. Oh. All of my ammo has weight. So I guess the weightless ammo mod did not did not take. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um Let's see, so do we have How many more people have we gained? We only gained one. And it looks to be this guy. I just want to trade a few things. Okay, so he's got bottle caps and one bullet for me. This guy made a pretty impressive shack. At least on the outside. Inside kind of sucks. I don't know why he's got a bit of a car hanging out there, but as far as, like, looks kind of like a house, he got the closest to looking like a house as compared to these monster shacks person with the truck for a roof. I guess this one's not so bad. I mean, this one's just being lazy and well, this is about as cop-outy as cop-outy can get. It's life. Okay. Uh See what we what we've got as far as like our base hall goes. Can I can I light up more of the city? How much copper did I come away with? Not much of anything. That sucks. Well, I'll slowly work on lighting sanctuary. This is going to be a uh, a process. Here, let's spread them out a bit. We don't really need them to be like directly next to each other. If I can. Get out of here. Okay. I don't know why. I was going to talk about this last night when I was streaming. Was it last night? I think it was last night. I was playing Dungeons and Dragons and somebody like showed up to the stream to start proselytizing. Man. I don't know. I don't know why I'm. Re well, I guess we're playing the Pilgrim Challenge, um, so I guess it's not. No, but I was playing Dungeons and Dragons at the time. I have no idea why. It just seems like such a weird, misguided waste of time. I'm trying to proselytize on the internet. I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I give up. Okay. Oh right, that's where the Brahmin trough is, and it's backwards. I should probably uh, rotate that around. Yeah, I should probably rotate that around. Uh, if I can? Pile of leaves is in the way. Alright, fine. I guess I'll just... I'll just live, the, leave with, uh, live with this. I don't know. Let's get rid of the, these brambles, too. I'll slowly kind of clean up some, some of what I can. Brambles rank really high on the list. Make it kind of hard to see. Yeah. Always surprises me, uh, the reaction to Dungeons and Dragons. I think it's gotten a lot better of a reputation now that video gaming video gaming is a thing. Uh, but I've definitely had like people over the years that have been like super I'm not gonna say like anti uh gaming or Dungeons and Dragons, but every once in a while I will like uh run into a person that's just like, You play Dungeons and Dragons, does that mean you worship Satan? And I'm like, What? Who are you? And where? what kind of universe do you live in? Uh, definitely had a, a friend whose mother was... who. She wasn't a bad person, but she clearly didn't understand how the universe worked. Uh, so she thought, 
because I played video games, um, I was going to start robbing her. Because um, I guess that meant Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so she said, I could come over, but I could not leave the living room. And when I'd go over, all of the stuff would, like, very conspicuously disappear from the living room. I don't think I had ever even seen what Grand Theft Auto looked like. I was, like, 11. She was a crazy person. Then her uh, son went to juvie for assaulting somebody after I moved out. And it's like, well, you, uh... <laughs> You repressed your child into being a monster, maybe? I don't know. Weird people do dumb things. I find the people that tend to be the most, like, repressive about, like, their kids' activities generally produce the either least interesting or the most screwed up kids. Huh. Old Tom Hanks movie called Mazes and Monsters. It was an anti D and D movie called uh, based on the anti D and D hysteria at the time. Was it serious? Cause that's kind of hilarious. I mean, honestly, I I guess I'm a little bit uh, derisive of anybody that takes the like overly uh, reactionary approach to anything. Uh, anybody? Uh, well, I guess I was actually so I'm not too active on Twitter. What am I doing? Uh, I'm not too active on Twitter. Um, do we want to get a commercial plot somewhere? I guess we had that empty lot. Where's the empty lot? It's not over... I guess it's all the way over here. Yeah, sure. Um... Uh, I'm not too active on Twitter, but I will, uh, read tweets. A lot. Read and respond if uh, people say anything that seems worth listening to and stuff like that. Um, but very specifically, I was, uh... I was, uh... I like to read... Oh, what's his name? Uh, Rami Ismail? Is... I think it's Ismail or Ishmael. I don't know. Um, Rami is the developer. Uh, was the developer of Nuclear Throne. I guess he's kind of stopped with uh, developing it. Um, but... I really like this texture. Um, so he was, he was, you know, one of the, the main developers for Nuclear Throne. And he was, uh, I guess, called as an interview. Uh, an interviewee for a, uh, uh, for like a, a television show. Uh, and their main thing was going to, they were going to try and like demonize uh, video gaming. And uh, they were trying to link uh, playing Call of Duty or some dumb nonsense like that to a, uh, a mall shooting. And apparently Rami uh, himself uh, has been, uh, I guess, was the survivor of a mall shooting very specifically. And uh, so he started... Okay, it doesn't look like I've picked up too much. I just want to move it down just a smidge so you can kind of... Walk. I guess there's going to be some grass here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's probably okay. Um, but yeah, so he was advoc- uh, Maybe let's not do that. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to move the sap sapling around. But he was, you know, advocating for video gaming as a, uh, a good pastime. And actually kind of cuts down on violence and whatnot. And they just hug up on him mid-call. Mid and it's just like, wow. Talk about pushing a... Uh, Pushing a narrative. I don't know. It always bugs me uh, when people are just like pi uh, cherry pick information. It's like, this is evil because I said so. And I'm going to find all the information that supports that. And if somebody says otherwise, well, then they're evil. And it's like, what? No, what? It's not how this works. You daft people. Oh. These ones come with a built-in light, presumably. Well, not that we have anybody actually, you know, living and working on this, but whatever, we'll work on it later. Uh, is Creepy Dude, do you actually... Do you actually have a job? Okay, so he's he's set on on scavenging. Yeah, hopefully we can get... I don't know what commercial the commercial district will do, but if we're lucky, maybe... 
Uh, if we're lucky, maybe uh, we can get some like basic shops set up here. What are you doing? I'm gonna follow this person. Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's go look into getting a cargo bot and figuring out how to get a delivery set up here. Okay, Robotronics Lab. So I can contract work for one of these. Oh, but we need more copper. Okay, never mind then. 